entropy arguments applied to the heat capacity of a superconducting metal. The heat capacity C sub n of a normal metal at a very low absolute temperature is of the form gamma times T, where gamma is a constant characteristic of the metal. If such a metal is superconducting below a critical temperature Tc, then its heat capacity in the superconducting state in the temperature range 0 to Tc is approximately given by the relation alpha times T cube, where alpha is some constant. No heat is absorbed or given off when a metal is transformed from its normal state to superconducting state. Hence, it follows that at this temperature, critical temperature, the entropy of the normal metal and the superconducting states are the same. Uh, <clears throat> so what statements can you make about the entropies Sn and Ss in the limit as T goes to zero? So I would like to start out that uh, with the third law of thermodynamics. As temperature goes to zero, the entropy of the normal metal and the superconducting uh, metal should go to zero or some uh, low value as zero. This is according to the third law of thermodynamics. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to show you explicitly that uh, these two entropies should be the same thing at zero temperature. Uh, so, for the normal metal state, uh, the change in the entropy, dSn, is d bar q divided by uh, T, when we're doing a quasi-static uh, heating process, for example. And this would be equal to the heat capacity C sub n dt over t. So the entropy change in the normal metal state from some temperature T0 to a temperature T would be given by gamma times T dt over t. Um, so t is a low temperature. So remember, because this relationship, linear relationship with temperature, is valid at low temperature. So T is a low temperature. So these T's will cancel and I find that the entropy change for the normal metal will be given by gamma times T minus T0 and if T0 is 0 Kelvin, that's my reference, then I find that the entropy of the normal metal as a function of temperature is given by gamma times T for low temperatures. Now on the other hand for the superconducting state ds superconducting is d bar q over t this would be heat capacity of the superconductor dt over t the entropy change in a superconductor going from a temperature t0 to t t is below the critical temperature we have alpha t cube dt over t so this would make this a square. So the answer would be alpha T cube over 3 between T0 and T, which is alpha over 3 T cube over 3 minus T0 cube over 3. And if T0 is uh, 0 Kelvin, so that's my reference point, then I find that the entropy of the superconducting state as a function of temperature is alpha um, so I have put too many trees here uh, this is alpha times t cube minus t0 cube okay so this would be alpha t cube divided by 3 so as t goes to 0 the entropy of the superconducting state goes to 0 uh, as T cube and uh, the normal metal state goes to zero as T so uh, the statement we can make about the entropies in the limit as T goes to zero is in the limit 
as t goes to zero the normal metal uh, entropy would be equal to the superconducting metal entropy so they're both uh, decreasing and the entropy should be uh, zero at zero kelvin so we would have the same value use the answer to part a and the connection between heat capacity and entropy to find the relation between cs and cn at the critical uh, temperature now uh, i'm going to uh, look at the value of the entropy at the critical temperature so according to my calculation the normal metal entropy at the critical temperature would be given by gamma times tc and it is uh, mentioned in the problem statement that uh, there is no heat transfer in the phase transformation process therefore the entropy of the normal metal and the superconducting uh, states are the same uh, so here I have alpha Tc cube over 3. <clears throat> now, the value of the heat capacity of the normal metal at T is equal to Tc is gamma times Tc. And the value of the heat capacity of the superconducting state is alpha times Tc cube. So, uh, because these two entropies are the same, gamma times Tc is equal to alpha times Tc cube over 3. Uh, this implies that the normal metal heat capacity is superconducting heat capacity divided by 3. Now, <clears throat> there is one uh, point I want to make here. Uh, you may be wondering how we can compare the entropies of the normal metal and superconducting states below Tc. Doesn't the normal metal turn into a superconductor? And therefore, you can't talk about the heat capacity of the normal metal below Tc. Uh, so let me put a remark here. It is possible to derive a superconductor below its critical temperature to the normal state. So it's called... Uh, uh, the Meissner effect, so we apply a magnetic field, normally the, uh, the critical temperature uh, will drop and uh, above a critical magnetic field value, we find that the superconducting state is destroyed, the metal turns into a normal metal. So note that it is possible uh, to keep the metal in the normal state below Tc by applying a large magnetic field. So uh, therefore, we can compare the entropy of the normal metal and the superconducting states even below Tc. Okay, so we're talking about the heat capacity of a normal metal at low temperatures. It's linearly dependent on temperature and superconductor is a, a cubic dependence. And the, during the phase change process, the, there is no heat transfer, there's no heat being absorbed or released. Uh, from normal metal to superconductor or vice versa and therefore the entropies of these two states are the same. Uh, so the first question is what comment can we make about the entropies of the two states as temperature goes to zero where the third law of thermodynamics tells me they should be both approaching zero or a some constant value S0 depending on the degeneracy of the ground state but uh, when I calculate explicitly the change in entropy between zero Kelvin and some temperature T, I find that uh, for the normal metal state, the entropy is changing linearly with temperature. And for the superconducting state, it is uh, changing with a cubic dependence on temperature. And 
because st goes to zero, they're both approaching zero, they will be the same. And at the critical temperature where these two entropies are expected to be the same, I find that uh, the relationship between SN and SS gives me there also a relationship between the heat capacities in the normal state and superconducting state as Cn is equal to Cs over 3.